What's happening, family? Listen, it's time to pray, and I want to encourage every one of you uh, to remember the Thursday evening prayer call at 6 o'clock. You can call in and place your, your prayer request um, at, at that time, but you can also do it online. But I want to share with you the thought that we gave on last night in our time of prayer as a, as a nugget for you today. In Isaiah 41 and verse number 10, Isaiah gives us five reasons why we ought to have courage in this season of pandemic. He makes this statement in verse number 10. Do not fear, for I am with you, talking about God. Do not anxiously look about you, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Surely I will help you. Surely I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Notice that there are five things that are given to us, five beautiful promises that are given to us out of this text. Two of them are a command. Three of them are just statements about who God is. Number one, God commands us, do not fear. Why? Because he is with us. Jehovah is your God. And when Jehovah is your God, there's no reason for you and I to have an emotional response to a perceived threat because we have the King of Kings and Lord of Lords in our presence at all times. He will handle whatever comes our way. Command number two, do not anxiously look about. Why? Because I am your God. Here he uses the term that we shouldn't be anxiously looking at what's going to happen and why things are there and have our minds going 50 different ways, not knowing how to handle the darkness or the, or the, the confusion. Why? Because God is our Elohim. He is our creative God who literally can make a way out of no way. So listen to the promises. I will strengthen you. Promise number one. I will be your help, promise number two, and I will uphold you. When you have God, when God is the one who's telling you, don't fear, don't be anxious, why? I will help you, I will strengthen you, I will uphold you. The right posture for the believer is to listen to these five reasons and trust in a God who is more than able. So my challenge on you to you is to listen to these five points today. Go back and look at that text, let it be a part of your spirit, and let God keep us in this moment of imprecision, this moment of pandemic, this moment of darkness, this moment of frustration. He is more than able. Pray with me. Father, we love you. We thank you and we bless you. We honor you for being our God. We, we, we praise your name for being a God who's bigger than our situation, a, a God who's stronger than the, the weights that are falling upon us. God, we ask that you do those things that you said you would do. Some of us need you, Lord, to strengthen us, to make it through this next moment. Some of us need you to help us right here because we're dealing with something that we can't handle on our own. Some of us just need you to uphold us, Lord. Help us to just keep on, just to stand up a little bit longer, to deal with the waves of life. Lord, you know what's happening in your people. You know the human condition is such that we can become anxious, we can become frustrated, we can become depressed, we can become nervous, we can become all sorts of emotionally out of, out of whack because of this cabin fever and being, being, being locked down and everything else. Lord, we need you. We need you to be with us in that way. Also, Lord God, we need you to comfort those that are reeling with having lost loved ones, people that are entering into a season of life they've never been. Some individuals have never been in life without their parents. Some have never been in life without their husbands or wives with them along their side. God, so I pray that you be with them. Be with them in a way where they can have your comfort and have your strength. Bless the children that are dealing with being, being uh, uh, kept in one space. Bless the essential workers that are hazarding their life. Bless this your world. Bless our government with wisdom. Bless our scientists with ingenuity. God, we pray that you do what you do. Help us to remain encouraged by you. Help us to honor what you said, to not fear, to not anxiously look about. Help us to trust you as our strength, trust you as our help, trust you to hold us up when we don't want to go any longer. Lord, we need you. We call on you. We beg your presence even right now. And we ask that you do this, not because of us, but because of your name's sake. We pray, Lord God, that you represent yourself in our lives so that the praise can only belong to you. Get yourself some glory even today, Lord God. And we ask this in Jesus' name as we together say, amen. God bless you. Look into this text. Dig a little deeper. Allow the points in this, this text to rule your heart. And you pray for me. I'm going to pray for you. Let's watch our God change everything around us. God bless you.